So I've just done a base icon pack and um, as you can see I got myself a Nakata. The player you probably least want out of an icon pack but um, of course that's who I end up getting. Fun fact, I also submitted an untradeable Mbappe as well so uh, if you follow me on Twitter you'll know all about that. Anyway, in this video today we're going to be trying out the baby slash base icon Nakata. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So on the market this guy goes for around 240k on PlayStation and 260k on the Xbox. So uh, yeah, pretty cheap and I'm sure most of you can probably afford to you know, pick this guy up and try him out uh, if you want to do so. 4 star, 4 star on this guy in terms of traits, power free kick and early crosser. And in terms of in game stats, to be fair his dribbling stats are actually really really nice. Good agility, ball control and composure. And uh, the passing department is also pretty solid too. Nice shot passing of 86. Pretty good shot power of 87 also. But um, his finishing and attack positioning aren't too great. But hopefully the Hunter Chem start will help out with that. All in all, let's be honest. This card isn't awful. But it's just not that great for an icon either. So uh, yeah. Let's get into a game. And let's see how this card performs in matches. Game number one then. We are up against this. It's a pretty strong Premier League slash Bundesliga hybrid. Very, very quick back line. And uh, a very pacey attack as well. Mbappe links up now with the Japanese icon. Mbappe's now got an opportunity. But we're actually going to try and get this back to Nakata. So he can finesse this. And unfortunately saved by Neuer. We go. Mbappe. Oh, nice through ball there from Nakata. Mbappe's got some space. And he's got the chip as well. And that's a great finish from the Frenchman. And we finally get the break in this game. Nakata threads it through for Mbappe. Could do a return run. Please feel free to help out. And eventually Nakata gets through this gap and he's taken out there. And in theory, that could be a red card. And he's actually given the red card. That's actually surprising because this year they don't seem to, you know, give them as much. Nakata from the free kick. Oh, he's hit the bar. But Lucas gets the tap in. Nakata delivers out wide to Lucas. He's got plenty of space to run into since he is a man down. Lucas puts the ball to the box and Nakata is in support to make it 3-1. And after that goal, my opponent does indeed rage quit. And to be honest, I'm quite glad about that because uh, there wasn't too much playing on further when we're not actually playing against 11 men. So let's get into the next match. Finally, we get into another match and we are coming up against this. Um, surely he won't play 4-2-4 in game. That would be strange. But uh, it's a very good team with a very quick attack. And the midfield solid as well, Pogba and KDB. And then, you know, just an Mbappe and Aubameyang to deal with. So, uh, yeah, light work. Not really. Opportunity here. Nakata, left footed. No, as a right footed through ball. It was outside the foot to Mbappe, who's going to come inside now. And he's going to hit the finesse and we should be scoring that. I should be scoring that. Okay, here's a chance to break now. Nakata goes out wide to Lucas. It's a good ball. And he goes first time into Mane. And he's put the header wide. Now, I panicked there. I should have actually passed it inside to Mbappe. But, um... Good little move there. Nakata going on a run of his own. He's choosing to mark Mbappe. That might be damaging. Oh, Nakata almost came away with that there. Okay, ball bounces to Nakata on the edge of the box. Can he find someone on the inside? He's found Sadio Mane who gets closed down well by Walker. Good defence to be fair to my opposition. Maybe I should have shot first time. Okay, at the break we're 1-0 down. It's, um, yeah, it's not been a good half for us. We need to be more clinical in the second 45. Nakata come forward. Hasn't fully closed me down, and that's a great ball for Mbappe, and that's a great goal. The through ball there was excellent, and the run from Mbappe, just as good. And that is actually a very well-worked move. Here we go. Nice. Mbappe's done really well to stay on his feet there. And now he does have a chance to break, and to give us the lead, and that, oh, wow. I don't know why I thought that ball was floating wide, but, um, yeah, side net and keeper didn't move. 2-1. Look at that. Flicks it through for Mbappe, who almost... Puts that into the net. Good save from Alisson and Nakata. Come help out. Can we get that return pass? That's a good ball. Mbappe does not miss those. And that's a great ball once more from the Japanese Cam, who has uh, got himself another assist. Here we go. Chance now to put the game to bed if he comes across because we're going to put it into Nakata, who scores with his head. Did not expect to be scoring header with him in this video, to be honest, but we have done it. Fair enough, he was in space, but you've still got to get it on target. And uh, we've now got a two goal cushion, which should. Give us the win. So we're doing well to come back in this game, to be honest. We were 1-0 down for uh, most of it. And there is the full-time whistle. It's a 4-2 victory, and it's a hat-trick for Mbappe, who was on fire in that game. 
getting on the end of all Nakata's assists to be honest, both of which played really well in that match and linked up very, very well together. I think you can tell from the match ratings what kind of play we were doing here, very, very central, the wingers weren't involved too much, but um, yeah, very good play between the Cam and Striker in that matchup. Let's go again then, we are up against this in the next matchup, he does have the road to the final Grimaldo Atal and also road to the final Felipe Anderson, so he's liking his European League cards and uh, yeah, what for that? It's an alright team, nice back line, but um, nothing too special. Hoping to, you know, get the job done in this one. Nice run there from the cat. Who's going to get him behind here? And he almost got past Ramos. Stayed on his feet, but ultimately just shoved off. I see that opportunity. Oh, oh. Whoa! I. D what the? <laughs> That's gone down as an Akata goal or an own goal or what? I was literally about to look away because I thought the goalkeeper was about to just catch it. What has just happened? We go. Chance. Need the right run. We find Lucas out wide to the right. Oh, I wanted one more touch. Didn't quite get. Goes well as I planned. We're in our best run of form in this game right now. Balls in to Nakato. Strikes. Oh, I hit the bar. A lot of power in that shot, but uh, accuracy wasn't at 100%, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. These are the kind of chances we want. These are the kind of chances we want. Nice ball, Mbappe through, and have I bottled that chip? No, it's gone in. I thought I was gonna hit the post. So uh, half time's come around in this fixture, and we have ourselves a two-one lead, and we're probably quite fortunate to have that lead as well. In fact, I know we're fortunate because of that first goal. Like, I don't even know what to say about it. That was just nuts. And um, we're gonna have to be better in the second half if we're gonna win this game because my opponent is pretty good with the football. Oh, interesting. Nakata in behind. Oh, always. Oh, Oh, I just couldn't stay on his feet there if he did. I think Mbappe gets himself a pretty easy goal. Need support from other places. Ball comes in to Nakata. Who tries to get it through to Van der Beek there, but nothing doing. Oh, big mistake by the opposition. Nakata, can he stay on his feet? Can we get the shot away? He's left one player on the floor, but the shot sadly got blocked. Oh, chance. Nakata to win it. Oh, he scored. Big, big goal. And just with like five minutes to go. We have the lead back. Nakata is through again. Chance to maybe put the icing on the cake or not. He's being denied and that should be a red card. Mane across the box. Nakata with the header. Sadly goes wide. There's still time for maybe one more in this game. Nakata in some space. Oh, he's absolutely blasted that. And he's made the game 5 3. We've really taken advantage of the 10 men there. And my opponent decides to rage quit. Now. I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's a shame in reviews I can't show you the full 90 minutes because that was not a 5-3 to me game at all. For the most part, he dominated possession and had the better chances. But um, as you'll see, uh, as you saw, sorry, um, we took our chances a bit better than him. But um, yeah, two goals, two assists uh, for Nakata. Um, pretty good outing and uh, a very key goal uh, to win us the match as well. Okay then, let's do this. The review of base Nakata. How is this card? Well, um, I actually thought it did a decent job, to be honest. As expected, technically, um, in-game, it's actually quite good. Now, the reason most people don't like this card is because, you know, you get him in the base icon pack a lot, and um, ultimately, he's worth like one of the least amounts. So that's why people don't really have, like, you know, a good view on this card. But it's actually a decent item, and um, I think it could do a job for some people's teams. Ultimately, is, is it a card that's good value? No, there are many better cams in the game. But is this a terrible card? Definitely not. It's got some really nice stats, and um, in game, it can certainly do a job in that cam role. But um, there are some things that hold it back, and obviously, we are going to discuss them. But um, it's also got a few positives, which some people will like as as well so uh, let's get straight into things shall we first of all four star four star very good to see on a cam gives you options um, and don't have to be as predictable and always go off the same foot and obviously the skill moves just add those extra options in attack and um, one thing I really liked about this card as a whole was the dribbling I just thought he felt very good with possession and um, he's five foot nine and uh, it's pretty good with the ball just maneuvers uh, very quickly and feels pretty agile in possession as well so a big fan of the ball control and agility and as I say just a fun play to have in possession of the the footfall but but 
He's one of them players who you have to avoid would-be defenders with because this card has super low aggression and he just doesn't put up a fight for the ball. So he's just so very easily dispossessed of the football. You do not need to be like, you know, against a top tier defender for this guy to come unstuck. Like even average defenders are just going to bully this guy off the ball. So um, yeah, big negative with that aggression. The fight isn't there for the football. And um, as I say, can be very, very e easily dispossessed of it. So you've got to try and, you know, keep in space with this card when dribbling if you want to have success. His passing there I thought was to a very good standard. Um, short passing game was very solid and his through balls were also pretty nice as well. He picked up plenty of assists for me, which was great. So um, overall, very, very happy with his distribution, to be honest. He uh, certainly can put the ball on a plate for a striker, and I think you saw that with uh, the amount of assists he got for Mbappe. Now we come on to this guy shooting. Look, ultimately, he's not clinical. He's not like one of these uh, prolific goal-scoring cams that you can get. He's got a good shot power, and cross-goal shots are very good with this card, but ultimately, his finishing can and does let him down in game. I'm not saying his finishing is bad, but it's definitely not that great, so uh, something to note there. Positionally, I also don't think he's as strong as other cams. He's not terrible by any means, but um, yeah, sometimes you just got like force him to get involved in attacks, and that's one of the things... Uh, another one of the things, sorry, that hold him back because uh, you want your cam to always be in the right role, especially when he's your lone cam, you need him to be in the right place at the right time to set up attacks and with Nakata, although he can do that, it's not always, he's not always positioned all that well. As I say, at times I felt I had to force him into play, which is a shame because when you actually get him on the ball, he does feel pretty good and as I say, dribbling's nice and the distribution is also pretty solid too, so I wanted uh, him to be, you know, in, a, in support a bit more than he was, but ultimately he wasn't, unfortunately. And then finally, Finally, physically, what is there to say, to be honest? Um, jumping and heading aren't that great. Yeah, I did score a header with him, but ultimately, that wasn't a consistent thing. I feel confident in saying that was pretty much a one-off. Um, his stamina it held up all right, but um, I feel like if I was playing champs, I'd probably have to sub him off because uh, he was doing a lot of running for me, and we've already touched on that strength and aggression. The strength of 69 really doesn't matter too much when your aggression's that low because, as I say, the fight for the ball just isn't there. He, he is able to, like, knock players off the ball, um, but then as soon as he's got it, like, they'll just come back for him, and with him having such low aggression, they'll just knock him off and... Yeah, that's uh, a bit frustrating. But um, all in all, as I say, this is a decent cam card, and it will do a job for some people. It's just, you know, not worth its value, to be honest. It's not worth, it's not good value for money. So ultimately, wouldn't advise picking up this item, but if you do get it in your base icon pack, um, don't worry. This stage of the game, this is a cam that could do a job for you. In a few months, probably won't agree with that statement, but uh, for now, this is a cam card which uh, can do a job for you. But um, yeah, probably... Still, people won't be too happy getting it. I'm not particularly happy getting it in my base icon pack, but um, yeah, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Um, anyway, guys, we're coming towards the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. In the comments below, I want to hear your thoughts on this base Nakata item. I also want to hear uh, from you guys who you got in that base icon pack. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.